All right, so I'm thinking about doing this little experiment here. I've been wanting to grow some uh, duckweed for my chickens, which is my other fun little hobby. And um, so I had some duckweed in the office, which I went and got. And it's kind of growing in here, but then I was like, well, uh, we need some we need some fish in there to kind of create some waste and stuff like that. Um, turns out chickens love duckweed and it's really nutritious and good for them. It's like a super high protein plant. So anyway, that's the reason. So <clears throat> I went down to my PetSmart, grabbed some goldfish. And of course, <laughs> what did they do? They do what they do and they ate all the duckweed. So I'm thinking of creating kind of a, I mean, this is truly a silly experiment, but I'm thinking of creating a kind of a big duckweed sumpy thing so I'm going to pull water from here to here um, so that I can feed the duckweed and then get it back over to here. So I'm using this like little, little pump I just had laying around. So this part's easy, right? Put it in there, empty it in here. So then I need to kind of figure out a siphon thing. Um, so that I can get the water back so that it doesn't run over. So that's where I am on that project. And uh, I'm going to check back in two seconds. So I have a couple of ideas here. I've got this ball thing. So this could actually go just right over that as long as I could create a siphon there it would actually do it or I could use some PVC which would give me a, a little more wiggle room with the flow and then I'd have to cut it <coughs> there and I'm also thinking I probably want a way to reduce the flow so I got this little guy here which will fit on there so I could I could actually reduce the flow coming out of the, the little pump with this little valve here this is like a sprinkler thing so um, I'll play around with this and see what I can figure out. So it turns out this thing has a, a little reducer on it. <clears throat> it's just this old pump that I had <clears throat> from 100 years ago. So I don't need that, <clears throat> which is great. So we'll get rid of that thing. So I can reduce it here, right? And we got this. So we're gonna go across. I'm gonna do it in back where I can cut a little hole there. And then the question is how to create the siphon here. Um, that's really the question like I could I could drill a hole here you know which would allow the water to come up but I've got it and I could like suck it out <clears throat> which would create the siphon which should be solid but I've got to have a way to to like suck it out and then cap it I suppose I could I could put a piece of tubing in there and run it all the way up 
and use that to suck the air out of here and then it would just balance <clears throat> it would just balance between the two tanks that's what I'm going to do okay so I've uh, I've cut a hole here in the top. I'm going to put this sucker down in there. And then I'm going to use this to suck the air out so that the siphon will balance the two tanks. I think it's going to work. I, I think I might be a genius. Also, I could just be stupid. So. <laughs> we'll see here in a second how it works out. So, yeah, the question is, do I put it? Probably put it in there first. And I, <clears throat> I cut one of these sides so that it would be a little shorter. All right, so now we're gonna get duckweed in there. Come on, duckweed. Yeah. Okay. So now it's going in, and my guess is that <clears throat> by having this up there, all the air came out. Now <laughs> let's try this. Okay. So then, so then I gotta just take this out, right? <clears throat> or I can, I can just put it <clears throat> there so I have it for later. <clears throat> Okay, so now, if I'm, if I'm thinking right, I should be able to put the pump in and start moving water from one tank to the other, and that little siphon should balance it out. <laughs> right, we're going to see. Okay. So I've got the pump here um, and I put a little zip tie here so that in the case where this siphon fails, um, I can st I'll only empty this much water, right? So I'm not going to have a total disaster. Um, so I've got this little thermometer there, which is kind of in the way. So I also zip tied this so that, you know, it keeps that. Got the sponge filter still going. I don't know if I have, I didn't actually glue this thing. So we'll see if it can maintain a siphon without glue. Um, so, yeah. So, let's plug it in. <laughs> uh oh, is that our car hang? We have a problem. Okay, so clearly water's going in there um, and water's emptying out of here, but it seems to be 
kind of to, oh oh look at that there's water coming out of that pipe can you see it there is definitely water coming out of that pipe okay I'm a genius that actually worked out now you know so this is two minutes of it working so we'll see how it does in a little bit <clears throat> what do you think Hank you think I'm a genius I think maybe I am that was beautiful can't believe that actually that is staggering. I mean, it's probably too much water because this is actually, this is filling up. <clears throat> I'm not sure it can keep up. So I may need to siphon a little water out of kind of the system to make sure that, um, yeah, I mean, you can kind of tell that water is flying out of there. But yeah, probably need to siphon a little water out of the system. I'm going to do that right now. So yeah, just by way of context, um, this these two tanks are in my barn, and I just moved. And so I'm kind of in the process of resetting up the fish room it's not going to go in here this is kind of my barn area so it wouldn't go in here but I've got these tanks in here just so I can um, you know I just got a wild hair it's like yeah I'd like to start the tanks and stuff um, the fish room is going to go in another area uh, that's not in in this uh, in this barn here but I just I couldn't I actually went to PetSmart and saw these uh, these guys and I was like hey those guys look pretty healthy actually Petco sorry not PetSmart um, but yeah they looked really good and so I set up these tanks and uh, put them in here. I've got some some little white clouds in there, uh, which are doing good. These guys are doing good. So yeah, it's uh, and kind of the idea behind this is that I was going to do duckweed. which I could feed my chickens, right? Chickens love duckweed. It's good for them. Um, good stuff all the way around. So that was the kind of the idea there. And um, that was the motivation for the goldfish and kind of got things going. Um, so yeah. trying to get the fish action figured out again. Alright, so we got a little water siphoned out of there, and we're going to start our little pump again, and see kind of what's going on here. So it's definitely emptying water out, I can't tell if it's coming out of there again. What if I lost my siphon? Uh. Yep, <clears throat> water's coming out. So the question is, how stable is that siphon? That is the question. You know, it's a barn. So if I lose worst case if that siphon dies I could I could lose these are 40 breeders so I could lose yeah, 15 gallons 
of water on the floor but it's a barn and meanwhile I've got a goldfish are happier right because they got a they have this little reactive zone of duckweed that's gonna uh, kind of take care of their waste duckweeds happier so I'll have more duckweed to feed the chickens and it looks like the white clouds are happier because they got a little a little stream to swim against so now it's still kind of still filling up here I may need to adjust that guy to make sure I don't <clears throat> slowly overfill uh, the tank on the right here but we'll see silly experiment had some time put it together we'll see how it works <clears throat> I've got a little help from a chicken who's trying to get the nesting box that the other chicken has so a little bit loud, but what I decided to do, cut it, is because um, I'd rather have the goldfish tank full um, and this tank lower down. It would be better for the duckweed and everything else. So, so I, re I reversed the pump. So the pump's over here now and we're pumping into there the only downside to this um, kind of paradigm is that I'm gonna probably end up with my white clouds in this tank which is fine they're gonna go through that hole because they're gonna explore they're gonna get caught um, I reduced the flow pretty significantly but, um, yeah, it's been going for about, what, 20 minutes now? And um, it looks pretty good. So we'll check back in on this little silly experiment in a bit. Yeah, it's actually... So I can add water back in here, but it's actually better. I could, this could go down to half without any problem here. And then I could have some kind of terrarium stuff going on in here. But basically, that's a duckweed tank. We want to grow as much duckweed as we can. So um, we're going to feed these goldfish quite a bit. These goldfish really, like I said, I got them at PetSmart Petco. And um, basically, it's been hard to find goldfish these days, so I'm picking them up wherever I can. And I've got a bunch of ponds here that I want to start putting goldfish in. And so that's why I got them. So... They've all been eating like crazy. So, eating all that duckweed. And the white clouds are pretty happy. So, probably it'll end up, this is the goldfish tank. That's the white cloud tank. White clouds won't mess with the duckweed. So, that works out okay. So, we'll see. We'll give it a couple of weeks and see what happens.